Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth, reporter from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video. It is on Ludacris' new album called Ludaversal. Now, it's two different versions of this album, but I'm going to give you the whole review of everything. I know the standard version has 14 tracks, but the deluxe version has 18, so I'm going to be reviewing all 18 tracks. That's including the, the uh, deluxe one. But I'm going to let you guys know, if anybody that's a fan of Ludacris, like from when he first came out, from with his first album... In 2000, from we, we, from we know the major label 2000, that was your fantasy and all the above, all those albums like that. You will fall back in love with Ludacris immediately on this album. So I just want to let you guys know that. Now, Ludaversal, track number one called Ludaversal Intro, it shows really when in my pan, I feel like when you hear that, a lot of these tracks, especially Ludaversal Intro, introduces Luda. Like back to what he's known for that high energy rap flow, but at the same time spitting that fire with his verses, with his verses, you know, and the flow and just the delivery and just the beat and everything, stupendous. But then one of my favorite songs, and this is track number two called "Grass is Green." Grass is always greener. I don't know something about the just the hook of it. The grass is greener on the other side. It just it just had me hooked. I mean, you guys hear? If you guys already heard already, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, he gets more, he's spitting that fire quick, 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 quick. And he also continues on with the tracks like Call Your Bluff, Lyrical um, Healing. But when he gets to Beast Mode, he really went hard on that track. I mean, he was spitting that fire in the verses and everything. And he was like giving me flops. Like, in fact, I was like, Luda, like, like I feel like, he, like Luda is back. And I uh, know I keep saying that, but he is fully back and I like that. And then, you know, you have the Viagra uh, skit, which is hilarious. I'm not going to go into that one. But when you, the next track called Get Lit, it's time when he get lit, how the alcohol gets to him, you know, the hype when this comes out, you know how, and not to take anybody, not me, I never had that issue, but you know when some people, they get a lot of alcohol and something, you know how they say when you drink a lot, the truth comes out of you. I think that's just basically what he was saying on that song. And then when you get to the next one called Come and See Me, the interlude, Good. You know, it was good. Interlude. I was not. I was really. Um, I didn't feel like it was bad at all. But when you get to the full track, "Come and See Me," featuring Big um, Grit. Oh my gosh, the two of them, Big Grit and Luda. I felt like I was in the concert just listening to the um, them uh, going back and forth with the song, and I was like, oh, like I felt like I was in a um, concert. Seriously. And I feel like you got you got the hip hop part, but you gonna get more R and B on the next couple tracks like "Good Love" and featuring Miguel, which a lot of you guys probably already heard the song, but I love that track. And Miguel really did his thing on it, especially with Luda backing him up. But his the next track, "Ocean Skies," I feel like he was really letting it all out, talking about you know how he felt like um, losing his father, and it's featuring his cousin who y'all know, Miss Monica. And Monica was killing it on the um. You know, just her part, and I felt more like, because it was good to see them work together since the last time I remember working together was on Monica's album, still standing on the title track, but it was good. What a, a good track, of which I thought was one of my favorites, which is one of my favorites, I should just say. Now, the next track called Not Long is another R&B feature, featuring Usher, and you know, as I say, Usher, and Luda, you know they create magic, no matter what they do, so that was just nothing but magic, and I feel like it was taking me back to when they did Yeah, and I was like, wow. But it was a little bit more settled down, but you still had that R&B hip-hop feel. But it was a little bit more, um, um, you know, a little bit more calmer than Yeah, but not long, it's really not a bad track, but it's a good track where you just really felt the energy and just the overall flow of how Usher and, you know, Luda combined together and make that wonderful music. And then he gets more honest on the song called Charge It to the Rap Game, talking about how he, you know, he's dealt with um, video um, vixens, you know, dealt with actresses who he's had relationships with, you know, he slept with and everything, but he didn't name, he didn't go into names, but I feel like he was being very honest and just saying how the rap game, how things go, and that's track number 13, if you guys are wondering, called Charge to the Game, which I thought Luda, he really did your thing, and I was really impressed by just the full-blown honesty. And then he gets more honesty when it gets to the next track. It's 14 called This Has Been My World. And he's talking about what his world's been. You know, just dealing with people who, um, you know, want to just either 
like just sue you for no reason or you know people who maybe in your crew that or as I say honorage who just want you just for some money and just feel like they can get by just by using you to get who I should say are opportunists and that's just the end of the standard version now when we get to the deluxe version we just get to the next track called money featuring Rick Ross or should say Ricky Rose when he was just like he said just like he did on this has been my world just talking about money just talking about how the money a lot of times it just brings the craziness out of people but it just was I really had nothing bad to say it just was just one of those songs that was just honest but at the same time you could jam to it but at the same time it made you think a whole lot and then track number 16 is called problems featuring CeeLo Green just talking about how we all go through problems sometimes with our you know, mentally, um, spiritually, you know, just mind, body, and soul. Just we all go through stuff. You know, you have to take a break sometimes and get yourself together. If you've been doing a whole lot of, if you overwork yourself and just think about you, and that's just basically what problems is about. Now, when you get to the next track called "In My Life" featuring John Legend, I like the song. Only little issue I have with that song is not with Luda. It was with John Legend. I feel like the parts he was singing kind of remind me of the song. Glory that he's doing what he did with Common. Because I feel like I was hearing the same verse, just what John Legend. But overall, that was just my... The song is still great, but I just feel like John Legend could have spit a little bit more with his verse of, you know, his part of it. Or not spit, but like sing his part a little bit more. A little bit more original um, lyrics. But then when you get to the last track called Burning Bridges featuring Jason Aldean. Amazingly done. Jason Allen, if you watch this, you did your thing. And I feel more like you gave Luda that. Um, I feel like it gave like a crossover feel. That Luda is great for crossing out, cross, great crossover artists in general. But I feel like with Jason Aldean, that'll be a great, I think that would be a great single. So, just saying. But overall, I have to give Luda like 5 out of 5 stars. 5 out of 5. And you really did your thing, Luda. So... Hopefully you get the respect and hopefully people, you go get Luda Versal. It's out now. It's out on stores. It's out on iTunes, Spotify, all the above. You know, like on um, online retailers. Make sure you guys support the album. Don't bootleg it. Make sure you guys um, buy the album. And if you want to keep up with Ludacris, he is on Twitter and Instagram at Ludacris, which is L-U-D-A-C-R-I-S. That's on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to keep up with me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. Be sure that you're watching the KTooks spot. It does have a Twitter page at KTooks spot. And everybody, if you guys like great music, and especially you happy to hear that Ludacris is back and you just want some refreshing music that take you back to when music was just amazing. You just had all these great acts. Please thumb this video by liking it. Make sure you share the video and make sure you comment. After you've heard the whole album from um, Ludacris called Ludaversal, let me know what your favorite tracks are. Did you um, enjoy how, did you feel like Luda is back for, um, you know, with Vengeance and not just with anybody in particular, just with bringing, bringing um, his uh, flow back to his, um, his flow and how he delivers to the rap game? You know, let me know. And make sure you guys also subscribe to the K2 Spot. It's so simple. You just push that subscribe button and you'll be alerted every time I drop videos. If you've seen some of the videos I've done in the past, like from when I first started to up till now. So hopefully you guys do that and continue supporting me. And I love you guys. Just Even if anybody that's watching this video, I love you guys dearly. And shout out to Ludacris, who you, I'm one of your, oh, I'm just a huge fan of yours. And you're one of the best out there. So I just want to make sure you know that. And shout out to Disturbing the Peace, everybody that works with Luda. You guys keep doing what you do. And this is your boy Kenneth, signing off from the K2 spot. And you'll see me again later. So, bye.